Hi everyone. Good morning. I believe you are all doing very fantastic. I hope you have taken your time to watch all the videos from the sketch tools, the 3D features, to the other videos that I have posted for you to watch. I hope you are also taking your time to do the assignment I posted yesterday. If you have any trouble with it, quickly send me an email and I will reply you instantly. Now, for today's session, we will be learning how to model two different solids. The first one is this wooden piece. It's popularly known as a sanka, and we use it to grind pepper and then other stuff at home. The next one is the LED lamp. So these two projects will help us to learn about other 3D features that I have not spoken about in the previous videos. The goal of this class is for you to be able to finish the two 3D models that I am presenting to you on your own and then present it to us by midnight today. Let's get to work. So let's start with the first project, which is the Asanka stick. I made an error in the name in the earlier video. The name is Asanka stick, popularly no used to grind pepper in my country, Ghana. The goal of drawing the Asanka stick is to help us understand the following. The first one is the loft. Second one is the offset plane. Now, loft simply means drawing a 3D or a solid feature that cuts across three different that cuts across different geometric shapes so you can draw a square draw a circle and then you have a loft joining the circle and then the square together let me explain how to do that so you click on the sketch and then we select the bottom plane now the profile of the asanka stick is circular so you are going to draw a circle that is of diameter 50 millimeters. And then we press enter. Now we are going to draw a plane that is above this sketch. And then the distance between them is going to be about 30 millimeters. We cannot just draw in the air at this point. So we need to create a plane at this point and then draw the second shape over there. To do that, we are going to click on Finish Sketch and then we click on Construct and then we click on Offset Plane. So we are going to create an offset plane which is 30 millimeters away from this plane. And then we will click on the Sketch Tool again and then we are going to draw another circle on that plane. So we will draw another circle which is of diameter 10 mm. So if you want to see what we have done, this is how it looks. So there's a, a, a circle here and then there's another circle on top. Now let's draw another circle on top which is also part of the middle section of the Asanka stick. So to do that, I'll click here, and then I'll, I'll finish the sketch once more, and then I'll click on Construct again, and then select Offset Plane, and then select this shape, and then I'll make the distance between the, this plane and the, the new plane we want to create 10 mm. So we have another plane over here once more. I'll click on the Sketch Tool again, and then select this small plane that I've created, and then I'll create another circle of the same diameter as the previous one. Enter. So if you watch it using the orbit tool, you are having three different geometric shapes all above each other on different offset planes. Let us now draw the last offset plane, and then that will be the end of the Asanka stick. 
to I'll click once again on finish sketch and then I'll click on construct and then another offset plane which is 30 millimeters away from this one and then I'll click on sketch and then select this plane and then draw another circle which is of the same diameter as this guy which is five zero enter so in the end the loft is just a feature that will help us draw a 3d shape that connects all these four circles together the one in the middle can be a square the one here can be a square this one can be a rectangle and the loft will help us to connect all of them together let's do it so i'll click on finish sketch and then i'll come to create and then i'll select loft now when i select loft i need to provide the sequence of profiles that i'll be lofting so the first one is this guy followed by this guy followed by this woman and then followed by this boy and then when i am done i click on enter so the result of the loft operation is something that looks like this now let me apply some fillets to the end to finish off the asanka stick so i'll click here and i'll select a fillet i'll make it i'll make it 10 mm all right so 10 is too big i'll make it 7 mm and then i'll press enter so this is our new asanka stick let us make it from wood so click on it or you can just come here select the body and then right click and then you select appearance and then we can choose either mahogany or we can choose the cherry for that i prefer the second one and then you press close so this is our beautiful asanka stick In this next section, we are going to draw the LED lamp. By drawing the LED lamp, it will help us to do multiple operations. It will also help us to learn 3D features such as the sphere, the cylinder, etc. Let's get to work. So I will start off with a cylinder and then I will draw the sphere on top of it and then we can take it from there. So I'll click on solid select create and then i'll select cylinder and then i'll select this plane and then i'll choose the origin and then i'll draw a cylinder of diameter 30 millimeters and then the height of the cylinder is going to be 40 millimeters now i need to draw a sphere on top of this cylinder to be able to do that i need to draw a construction line right on top here and then make the construction line the center of the sphere. So to do that, I'll click on sketch and then I'll select the right plane and then I'll be able to draw a line from here to this side. So you can click on L or click on the line tool and then draw a line of dimension 20 millimeters and then make it a construction line if it doesn't hatch out automatically click on it and then make it a construction line by clicking here and then you click on finish sketch now i'm coming to draw a sphere over here using this point as the center of the sphere so i'll once again click on create and then i'll click on sphere and then i'll select this point and then i'll make the diameter of the sphere 60 and then the operation here is to join if you select cut the op operation will cut through the cylinder and nothing will appear at the top 
So when I am done, I press enter, and then this becomes the stock shape of my electric bulb. Now, I can apply some appearance over here now. So I'll come to appearance and then select plastic. And then I'll select EBS white. And then I'll click on close. Now, I want to apply some fillet here so that the LED light will look beautiful. So I'll press on F, which is the shortcut for fillet. And then I'll select this side. And then I'll make the fillet, let's see, 45 millimeters. Now, it's now kind of looking like an LED light. So I'll rotate it so that I can see the bottom. And then I will apply another fillet right at the bottom. And then this fillet is of radius 4 mm. So we now have something looking like this. Now, I need to draw the connector for the LED lamp. So I'll select the bottom plane this bottom plane, and then I'll click on solid once more, and then I'll select cylinder, and then I'll place the middle of my cylinder here, and then I'll make sure that my shaft is 22 millimeters. I'll press enter, and then I'll make the height of my shaft 15 millimeters. So this is the shaft of my LED lamp. Now, I'll construct a thread over here so that you can be able to put the LED lamp into the holder. To do that, I'll click on this surface, and I'll click on Create, and then I'll select Thread, and then you get this dialog box. Now, click on this model so that it will be part of the feature. When you don't click on the model, the thread will just be some sketch on the body of the shaft and in that way it will not be modeled when it will not be made when you are for example 3d printing this led lamp so you click on modeled so that it will be part of the shaft and then you can select the standard for the thread to be ANSI metric m profile and then you can untick this full length and then you make an offset of about three Mm, so that we can create some chamfers to make the LED lamp more beautiful. So I'll now make a chamfer of 5 mm over here. And then it's now beginning to look like a real LED lamp. So to make it a little more nicer, I can click here, create a 2 mm fillet. And then the next thing I'll do is to have the pointed electrical contact over here so that you can be able to have electrical connection into the lamp. So I'll click here, and then I'll come back here once again to the cylinder tool, and then I'll draw a small cylinder of radius 10 mm and then of height 4 mm. And then... I will now create the chamfer once more on this cylinder so that it looks nicer. So I'll make the chamfer 4 mm. And then this is our new LED lamp. So my goal is for you to model both the Asanka stick and then the LED lamp and present them on canvas by close of day. You can start during the class section, and then when you are done by close of day, you submit it on Canvas for marking. Thank you.